Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Tabitha, if you don't know, and although I usually post on Thursday, today I'm posting because I feel like I need to discuss what's going on with Orlando, specifically to the Christians who are either for it or against it, um, and to offer my condolences and help in any way for those who are within the LGBT community um, because you guys deserve love and it's a different sort of love than what we generally talk about that I feel like you all deserve. Um, I have a video about that, two videos actually. I'll link them down below, but first I want to say to everybody who is for what happened and says that they are followers of Christ, here's the thing, God would never condone anything like this, anything that causes such destruction and heartache, it's not I don't think that would be within his desire. Now, don't get me wrong, there are instances where in the Old Testament where violence does happen, but majority of it is the people doing their own thing, doing what they think is right in their own eyes, and if there's any bit of violence that is condoned by God, it is because he has allowed his people to do whatever they want. He has warned them against doing whatever they want and then has to be violent or bring on judgment to those who are pulling his children away. Just like any parent would do when they see their child doing something wrong, they will try everything they can to bring them back to what's right. So if mom and dad find out that you've been shooting heroin, like they're going to pull you away, hopefully they will pull you away from whatever group that you're in, the people that you're around that are pushing you towards that lifestyle. It's the same thing with God in the Old Testament. That's what it's that violence is forced to bring his children back and to protect them from the harms of the world. So this sort of violence does not go into that. And if you say that it does because of that one instance where Jesus goes into the church and whips people and flips over tables, well here's the thing. That is not for anybody who does not know God, who does not believe in Jesus, who is not a Christian. That whipping is for you, the fellow Christians, who know better than to bring hatred and disgust and judgment on people who don't know God. Like, the whipping are for the people who know better, who know God, because because they know better, and they're doing wrong things. Like at the church, they were doing unholy things. They were selling and trading and doing all sorts of things in the temple, which is not where that is supposed to be. That's supposed to be the holy place where God and His presence lives. In that time, and and they were doing ill things within that place. Um, so that judgment, that action is directed towards Christians, not non-Christians. So you can't justify what happened because of that one instance if you know what that one instance is for and who it's directed towards. Now another thing that I am seeing for those who are like, yeah, they get it, they deserve that. The gays should all go to hell. Like, who the heck are you to say what one person does and does not deserve? Because 
if they they because we are holding them up with that thinking to the standard of Jesus Christ and if we're holding them up to the standard of Jesus Christ these people who do not know him who do not have a relationship with him who do not interact and read his word and pray to him or even believe in him like we can't hold them up to that standard when they don't even know him it's like if i said that you deserve to go to hell because you don't live as great of a selfish life as my grandpa does you don't know my grandpa you've never met my grandpa you will never meet my grandpa most likely like if you don't know him you can't be at the standard that he is at because you don't know what that standard is and i would like to add that if we're going with the logic they sh that they should be up to the standard of jesus christ then that means you too should be up to the standard of jesus christ and you more so because you actually know who he is so if you know who he is, and you should be living up to the standard of Jesus Christ, then that means, especially in this day and age, if you've had any interaction with them, then they should feel nothing more than the love of Christ, the compassion of Christ, and just, they, they should see nothing more than Christ's work in you. Now, If they don't see that, then that's on you. You should then, and I'm going to say this is my opinion, but I feel like if we're talking about in justification, then you should too go to hell. Because if they're not living up to the standard of Christ and they deserve hell, and if you're not living up to the standard of Christ, then you should also go to hell. Correct? In that frame of thinking? Like, another thing is God is not happy about this. And I think I said that earlier. I can't exactly remember. But God's not happy about this. And, and here's why, I mean, I'm not trying to say that I know God's frame of thinking, but just looking at it, trying to see it through God's eyes, like, these are people who have now reached eternity and are forever separated from him. And I believe that they are taken far too soon than, than when God was actually calling them home, because that man who shot, who the mass sh shooter was not in the will of God like I'm flat out not in the will of God and it's just so heartbreaking to think that people are really happy about that that he went out and he killed all these people and that they deserve to die and they deserve to go to hell but hey pray for Orlando which is another thing I want to point on if you're saying pray for Orlando then you better pray for Orlando you better pray for all of the families all of the loved ones, all of the people who are still in the hospital with injuries, everybody, pray for the town, the ministers, whoever. Just if you're saying pray for Orlando, then you better be praying for Orlando. Um, that's all I have for this week. I'm not going to post a video on Thursday. I'm gonna have to wait till next week. I just really feel like I need to spend time with my family, my husband, and really honing in on God's presence to see what he is needing me to do in this time. So I want you to know that you are loved and you are worthy and to feel free to message me on here, um, on Instagram wherever um, all my links will be down in the description if you want to find me and I am so sorry that we had to have this conversation I'll see you next time bye